Well, if you got something under your tree that you plan on returning, you aren't alone. Our Brett Vetter shows us what to keep in mind before heading back to the store. The holiday shopping season may have ended, but holiday return season is just getting started. It's almost going to be exactly like a Black Friday or last minute Christmas shopping. Zachary Henderson is assistant manager of Cavender's Boot City in Waco and says that his store is bracing for the post Christmas shopping rush. What we prepare for, you know, is like all the customers that are come, gonna come use the gift cards that they got as Christmas presents, as stocking stuffers, you know, all the exchanges from mom and dad coming, getting the size they think their son wears and having to switch it out. According to a recent Oracle survey, more than 77% of consumers plan to return some of their holiday gifts this season, with 20% expected to return more than half of what they received. Something Zachary says his team is prepared for every year, which is why he says they have made it easy. You know, you don't even have to have your receipt. We get people's names and phone numbers, you know, so we have it in the system. Other stores like Walmart and Target accept gift returns and will refund the item in the form of a merchandise return card, which can be used in store, not online. But at the end of the day, Zachary says it's about treating the rush as an opportunity to help more customers and do more business. We got about 45 people on staff to help you find the right size and find what you need. Brett Vetter, 25 News. Where your gift was bought and how it was purchased can affect your ability to return the item. So be sure to always check the store's return policy online before heading to the store. And remember, as Brett mentioned, for any approved return without a receipt at Walmart and Target, customers will receive a merchandise return card in the amount of the returned item. At Best Buy, an extended holiday return period applies to items bought between November and December. Customers can return most items through January 14th. The policy excludes cell phones, tablets, and wearables.